ハローエブリニアン。How are you? Fine, thank you. Seriously, how are you guys doing? I hope you all are doing great. Hello, guys. In this video, we are going to create this, this simple text to speech app using JavaScript. Hello, guys. I welcome you to this tutorial. Hello, guys. I welcome you to this tutorial. Hi, I welcome you to this tutorial. You have seen the preview. Now let's create this. I have created a folder, I opened it on VS Code. Create a file called index.html and generate boilerplate code using exclamation mark. Set the title to your desire. I am using Tailwind CSS for designing as I don't want to waste too much time on designing. You can use pure CSS if you want. And if you want to use Tailwind, you can just copy the CDN link. Now let's write some real code. Let's create a simple header for the site. I am adding some Tailwind CSS classes, but if you don't know Tailwind CSS, feel free to use pure CSS. For a website logo, I am just pasting the link. Now let's create a text area to write the text we want to convert to speech. It has 20 rows and 100 columns, feel free to play with it. An ID of text area. Now let's create a select tag which will show all the available voices, a input type range to select the speed rate and a button to speak. Remember all the IDs, we are gonna add voices and other functionality with JavaScript later. Now let's write JavaScript. Feel free to separate the logic into another file, but for the simplicity I am gonna write JavaScript code here too. Here I am just selecting all those IDs using query selector. Now in JavaScript, Window has an object called speech synthesis. You can use that to convert text to speech. Right now it does nothing. So let's add some more JavaScript. Let's create an empty array called voices. We are gonna append all the voices later to it. This function populate voices is used to get a list of available voice synthesizers and then populate an HTML select element with those voice options. The function does this by using the getVoices method from the WebSpeech API synthesis object synth. The result of this method is an array of available voices, which is then mapped to HTML option elements, each representing a voice option. Let's console the voices to see what we got. Oops, sorry, I forgot to call the function. See, I got an empty array. But wait and see the magic. This line of code listens to the voices changed event of the synth object and calls the populate voices function when the event fires. See, we got a list of all the voices available in the speech synthesis. Here we have 22 different voices, we can use that to convert text to speech to your desirable voices. Now let's create a function to speak. The code is a function that makes the computer speak the text in the text area element if there's any text in it. It sets the selected voice and rate from the drop-down list and input, then speaks the text using the speech synthesis API. If there's already speaking happening, it will cancel it before speaking the new text. Now let's add some event listener to the button, rate, and select tag. Let's add some CSS to center it. The JavaScript part is done and your app will work, but let's center it and see the result. Now let's check if it works or not. Let's add some text to it.
It is a news on AWS. Let's hear it in audio format. AWS Lambda now allows control over the maximum concurrency of concurrent function. AWS Lambda now allows control over the maximum concurrency of concurrent functions invoked by Amazon S2 SSL event flows. This simplifies scalability in certain AWS Lambda now allows control over AWS Lambda now allows control over the maximum concurrency of See, it functions. is working perfectly. Now add some CSS to it and you can make an awesome app using it. Thanks for watching guys. Good luck ahead on your journey and I will see you on the next one.